What comes to your mind when I mention West Asia? Conflict? Regional rivalries maybe? Today we are focusing on another issue that is plaguing West Asia and that's climate change. The Euphrates River has finally dried up and something terrifying is happening. The deteriorating condition of the Euphrates River raises concerns about environmental catastrophe. As a historical lifeline sustaining civilizations for millennia, the river is now experiencing a rapid depletion, posing questions about its underlying causes. While some experts suggest a potential link to global warming and climate change, others speculate on its significance in biblical prophecies. Additionally, alarming discoveries beneath the river have contributed to growing worldwide apprehension. Photographs captured along the Euphrates banks reveal vast stretches of the river that have ceased to flow. These once thriving regions, abundant with vegetation and crucial for sustaining the local population with food and water, now lie barren and unable to meet basic needs. Notably, images taken at the Rojava Dam in Tishrin, Syria's second largest dam along the Euphrates River, demonstrate a substantial decline in water levels. The Turkish state, accused of using water as a weapon against Syrians for years, actively restricts the flow of water into Iraq and Syria. According to a 1987 agreement between the governments of Damascus and Ankara, Turkey is obligated to provide Syria with a consistent water supply of 500 cubic meters per second. However, the Turkish state disregards the terms of the agreement, only providing 200 cubic meters per second. The consequences of reduced water availability are already evident. Water cuts have led to a decline in dam lake levels in Syria, resulting in decreased energy production and electricity supply to the region. Moreover, the diminishing water resources along the Euphrates have severely impacted agricultural land availability. Most distressingly, access to safe drinking water has become increasingly challenging, posing significant health risks for the affected population. The Autonomous Administration of North and East Syria has issued warnings that Turkey's policies of reducing water levels in the Euphrates River will lead to humanitarian crises, jeopardizing the lives of approximately 9 million Syrians residing in areas adjacent to the river. They have called upon the international community and human rights organizations to intervene and halt the provocative actions of the Turkish state. The rapid decline in the Euphrates River's water supply is a cause for great concern, given its historical significance as a vital water source for millions of people. While reduced rainfall is a contributing factor, multiple variables exacerbate the problem. The severe drought currently experienced in Iraq, a country through which the river flows, adds further complexity to the situation. Climate change and rising temperatures have also played a significant role in the Euphrates River's drying up, intensifying the crisis. This issue has plagued the region for decades, affecting over 7 million individuals, according to recent estimates. Due to water scarcity and failed crops, over 800 families have been forced to abandon their homes and villages along the Euphrates River, deeply impacting their livelihoods. Furthermore, the Tigris River, another important biblical river, is also experiencing water loss and drying, compounding the problem. The Euphrates River is not the only water source affected by this alarming trend. Several factors contribute to the river's decline, including the construction of numerous dams, ineffective water policies, and mismanagement of water resources. Finding a solution to the Euphrates River problem is imperative to safeguard the lives of millions of people currently at risk. Although the biblical references regarding the drying up of the Euphrates River should be interpreted cautiously, the book's prediction of significant change appears to align with the current circumstances. The potential consequences extend beyond environmental and humanitarian crises. The geopolitical implications of the situation are also significant. Disputes over water rights and usage among the countries along the Euphrates River strain diplomatic relations and heighten the risk of conflicts and instability in an already fragile region. Addressing this urgent issue necessitates global attention and collaborative efforts. International cooperation is essential to foster dialogue, negotiations, and scientific exchanges among the affected countries. Implementing sustainable water management practices, exploring alternative water sources, and prioritizing environmental conservation are crucial steps to mitigate the crisis. Furthermore, raising public awareness and education about water conservation and the significance of the Euphrates River can help mobilize support and foster a sense of responsibility among communities and stakeholders.
In recent decades, there has been a growing recognition of the ongoing drying out of the Tigris-Euphrates River system. According to a government-commissioned report in 2021, the future looks grim for these rivers if the current trend of declining water levels and climate change-induced droughts persists. The report warned that by the year of 2040, there is a real possibility that the rivers could run completely dry. This situation poses significant challenges for the communities and ecosystems relying on this vital water source. In 2013, NASA's Gravity Recovery and Climate Experience satellites, also known as GRACE, captured photographs of the region and unveiled a startling discovery regarding the Tigris and Euphrates River basins. The data revealed that these basins had experienced a staggering loss of 144 cubic kilometers of fresh water since 2003. Jay Famiglietti, the principal investigator of the study, and an esteemed hydrologist and professor at UC Irvine, expressed deep concern about the alarming rate at which the total water shortage in the Tigris and Euphrates River Basin was decreasing. Notably, this region currently ranks second in terms of groundwater storage loss globally, with India leading the unfortunate list. The accelerated decline in groundwater storage within the Tigris and Euphrates River basins has intensified since the severe drought experience in 2007. This event served as a learning point, amplifying the challenges faced by these rivers and exacerbating the urgency for action. Complicating matters further, there is a lack of coordination among the countries sharing the Tigris and Euphrates rivers when it comes to managing their water resources. Divergent views on interpreting international regulations pertaining to water usage have hindered progress in finding effective solutions. As the strain on the river system becomes increasingly evident, the possibility of a complete collapse of these vital waterways looms large. This would have catastrophic implications for the millions of people in Turkey, Syria, and Iraq who depend on the Tigris-Euphrates River as their primary source of drinking water. The inability to reach a consensus on water management and the escalating debates over access to water resources have created a deadlock, impeding efforts to address the crisis. As a result, these countries are experiencing a severe water scarcity which is pushing them towards a public health emergency. A recent article published in the British Medical Journal shed light on the plight of Iraq, where clean water access has become increasingly difficult. This scarcity has contributed to the rampant spread of diseases such as diarrhea, chickenpox, measles, typhoid fever, and cholera. To exacerbate the situation, the government's failure to provide vaccines has only compounded the health risks faced by the population. While it is essential to approach predictions regarding the future of the Tigris-Euphrates River system with caution, it's evident that the situation calls for immediate attention and action. The scale of change forecasted in these regions aligns with the concerns expressed in various sources. Addressing the water crisis and collaborating on sustainable water management, practices are crucial not only for the survival of these rivers, but also for the well-being and stability of the communities that depend on them. Following the drought that occurred in 2007, the rate of water loss in the Tigris-Euphrates River system reached alarming levels. Consequently, the need for fresh water in the region has been steadily increasing. However, due to conflicting interpretations of international regulations, the countries sharing the rivers have been unable to effectively coordinate the management of their water resources. And this lack of collaboration has further exacerbated the challenges faced by the region. As highlighted by Famiglietti, the signs of strain on the river system have already become apparent. The consequences of a complete failure of these rivers would be nothing short of catastrophic for the area. Millions of people in Turkey, Syria, and Iraq heavily rely on the Tigris-Euphrates River as their primary source of drinking water. Thus, as the rivers continue to struggle, the urgency to address the water crisis intensifies. Simultaneously, debates over access to water resources on an international scale are becoming increasingly heated. The mounting concerns surrounding the dwindling water levels and the need for equitable distribution have brought this issue into the spotlight. The scarcity of water has amplified the importance of clarifying and harmonizing interpretations of international regulations related to water usage and sharing. Finding common ground and establishing effective mechanisms for cooperation are crucial to ensure the long-term sustainability and equitable access to this vital resource. It is evident that the situation demands immediate attention and concerted efforts from all stakeholders involved. The strain on the Tigris-Euphrates River system serves as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of water resources and the pressing need for sustainable water management practices. 
Failure to address these challenges in a timely and coordinated manner could have far-reaching consequences, impacting not only the availability of safe drinking water, but also the social, economic, and environmental well-being of the entire region. The divergent views and disagreements among governments have impeded the development of viable solutions to address the water crisis in the region. Consequently, these countries are now facing the severe consequences of water scarcity, which has the potential to escalate into a public health crisis. A recently published article in the British Medical Journal shed light on the challenges faced by the Iraqi population in accessing clean water and how this difficulty contributes to the proliferation of various health issues. The scarcity of clean water has created a breeding ground for numerous health crises in Iraq. The lack of adequate water supply has led to the spread of diseases such as diarrhea, chickenpox, measles, typhoid fever, and cholera. These waterborne diseases pose a significant threat to the well-being of the population and exacerbate the already challenging situation caused by water scarcity. The inability to access clean water not only compromises personal hygiene, but also hampers the ability to maintain sanitary conditions, leading to the rapid transmission of infectious diseases. Nasir Bakar, a climate activist and field coordinator at the Tigris Rivers Protectors Association in Iraq, highlighted the dire situation in an interview. He expressed concerns that the government's no longer providing vaccines to its citizens, further exacerbating the public health risks associated with the water crisis. The lack of vaccination programs leaves the population vulnerable to preventable diseases and hinders efforts to contain and mitigate the health impacts of the ongoing crisis. The consequences of the water crisis extend far beyond immediate health risks. The lack of access to clean water not only compromises the physical well-being of individuals, but also imposes significant strains on healthcare systems and infrastructure. Additionally, the resulting socioeconomic challenges further compound the overall impact, with marginalized communities being disproportionately affected. Addressing the water crisis and its associated health risks requires urgent and comprehensive action and necessitates the cooperation and coordination of governments, international organizations, and relevant stakeholders to develop sustainable solutions, improve water management practices, and ensure equitable access to clean water and sanitation facilities. Efforts must also be directed towards strengthening healthcare systems, providing essential medical supplies and vaccines, and raising awareness about proper hygiene practices to mitigate the spread of waterborne diseases. Looking forward, it is imperative to maintain a critical and evidence-based approach when analyzing complex issues such as the state of the Euphrates River system. By combining scientific research, interdisciplinary expertise, and inclusive dialogue, we can work towards sustainable solutions that protect both the environment and the well-being of the communities that depend on these vital water resources. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more informative content in the future. Remember to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Together, we can raise awareness about pressing environmental challenges and foster a more sustainable future.